Hello, hello, welcome back. Right now I'm going to be talking a bit about how to set up the mod to use Harmony, uh, which is kind of, uh, to my understanding, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, modding for Minecraft, which is done in Java, um, but from what I've gathered about this Harmony thing, it's similar to the mixins that are, are available for Java Minecraft modding. And that's just actually physically modifying or, or attaching your own code to the uh, the base game code. So like, for example, the, the, the example I'm going to use is, is based on the, um, just something I've picked out randomly from um, the code. It's when a battery takes damage, uh, it calls this function and I'm just going to add something in as an example to um, demonstrate that this setup is functional. Um, but basically, yeah, like I said, Harmony, you can use to uh, inject your own functionality into existing things. You can change what a function uh, returns, so anything like that. So once we have this, this original project set up, right, the simplest way, I think, of actually adding the Harmony as a, a, a dependency, as a reference, is to use NuGet. I think that's what it's called. Uh, how it, or how it's pronounced. Um, so over here on the references in the solution view, which you can switch to from the file view with this button. The UI is very small, I do apologize, but hopefully it is somewhat legible. Um, anyway, you need to be in the solution view. You can then right click on references, manage NuGet packages, and then make sure you're in the browse tab. You can type in Harmony search for it and it's just lib.harmony um, then you can install it it'll pop up with this so you can just click ok um, and I think that's done already okay so the way we actually go about using that so so there are a couple things the first thing we need to do right is in our static mod constructor we need to create the actual instance right so we need to before anything else we need to actually use the correct namespace harmony lib right and you can see that the package is, is as, as a reference because that auto filled uh, so then next you want to actually create an instance of the, the harmony so that suggestion is incorrect what you're actually Oh, harmony, harmony. I'm gonna actually make it a variable equals new harmony uh, and then so so basically we're creating a new instance of the actual system and then you want to give it a unique string uh, ID um, I did what I did in my previous um, project that I used to test things is I just did something like uh, Rimworld dot mod dot my name dot and then the project name which is project mod it, you can really do whatever you want but it helps to be more specific with this kind of thing because if you use something very general and another mod also does it then there maybe there'll be a conflict um, okay so uh, the next thing we can do is actually this is the correct suggestion I think is just harmony dot patch all and what that does is it looks for any patches that we made. We haven't actually made any yet, and it will automatically kind of apply them as long as they're actually set up correctly. So as far as setting up a patch, I'm going to make a new static class. And let me see, let me just check my notes really quick. Um, okay, so, so this class I'm going to call uh, building battery patch because I'm patching uh, something in the building battery class um, and before I do anything inside of this class very very critical we need to give it the annotation uh, as a harmony patch that's all you, you don't need any anything more specific than that and that just tells the uh, the system right when it when it looks for patches that we've defined tells us that this class contains patches that need to be applied. 
So I'm going to, I'll get into the specifics of how to, of, of, of um, different kinds of patches, what you can really do with them. There's, there's actually quite a lot you can do. Um, but for now, this example I'm showing you is just to show that the setup for this harmony is actually functional. So the next thing we can do is I'm going to create this public static uh, void function. And this I'm just going to call uh, post apply damage post fix because this is this function is a post fix to the function post apply damage in our battery building battery class so no no parameters needed um, but similarly to this actual class I have to add an annotation how many patch uh, and in this case I actually do need to be more specific with the kind of patch so the um, the actual information that this takes is the, I think the name of the class that the, this patch is targeting. So the type, uh, the class that I'm targeting for this is building battery. Uh, and this is going to come up as an error because I haven't added the namespace that I'm using, right? So I had using rim worlds because this building battery class is in the rim world namespace. Uh, and then the second argument to this, uh, what is it called? Annotation is the actual specific function that I want to take. You can just type it as a string, but I like to be a bit more safe and go with name of building battery dot post applied damage, because that way you don't run the risk of spelling anything incorrectly. Uh, okay, so now what we, I think, oh, one more thing, um, postfix, we need to say that this is a postfix, how many postfix, I don't know if any, so, so the thing is, I don't have enough experience with this to know if anything I'm doing is redundant or incorrect, so if you happen to be watching this and you have, and you, you have a pretty thorough understanding of this, please do not hesitate to make corrections. I do appreciate that. Um, but anyway, uh, what I'm showing you is just, I'm showing you this because I've tested it and it is, it does what I expect it to at least, right? So, so this is just, um, to verify that we've got the, the, um, patch applied properly. So what I'll do now is just say log dot message and then whatever, whatever you want to say, this is just a test anyway. So I'll just say harmony patch applied. Okay, save the file, rebuild the projects. And if I haven't missed anything, uh, I'll meet you back in the game to see if this is functional. Okay, welcome back. I am in the game right now. Um, so let me just test this, see if it's correct. Toggle God mode so I can place anything. Here's a battery. Draft attack, and then I'll open up the console window, debug log. And as soon as I let them go, look, there we go. You see in this output log, we have that message that I um, that I added to the postfix, right? So, so that's at least some kind of proof that the setup is is correct. Um, so, if you wanted to, you could just go right from this example and have something special happen every time somebody hits a battery. Uh, what I don't know at this point is if, oops, is if that's meant to, okay, so maybe, I don't know exactly how this functions. No, don't repair it. Please attack it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure when that would be fired, but anyway, it, it's, it's enough. I think this is for, um, just an example. Um, but anyway, that is all for now. Goodbye.